Hi folks, welcome back to part four of this series. We've done quite a bit already. We have uh, used a fake REST API uh, to pull in data. We have modeled that data, converted it to a Dart object. We have passed it, created a block, and we passed that data to a block. We have uh, separated our visual layer from our business layer, and we built uh, three different layers in, in the business layer to make that even more understandable. We built a repository and a provider. And so by way of wrapping this up today, we are just going to pull in a little bit more information. Uh, if you remember back uh, when we first looked at the RESTful API, there is some uh, nested information. There are some JSON objects within the JSON object that we skipped because they were more, more complex modeling scenarios. And today I'd like to revisit those and add the company name uh, to our contact list. We'll do just a little bit of styling just so it doesn't look uh, this bad, but looks something like an app. Uh, and then we'll we'll go ahead and do a wrap. There are plenty of, of UI challenges out there and people doing UI videos that uh, I'm not gonna, gonna delve too deep into that. We're just gonna stick with the, the data portion on this series and uh, that'll be it. So let's go ahead and get started. This is where we left it. We have a home screen with a simple listing of the uh, records that are coming from this uh, JSON placeholder dot uh, type code dot com uh, website. You can click on any. Of, uh, you can click on any of these. You belong there. Yeah, click on any of these, and they will take you into a uh, a pretty lame detail page right there. So let's go ahead and add uh, this company information. And so we're going to do that. Uh, by modeling it. So every object within an object needs to be its own own model. And so we're going to create a new model. And we will call that company.dart. Now you do not have to model any more than of the data than you want. So I just like to pull the name here, so I'm not going to bother with catchphrase or, or the BS uh, appropriately labeled uh, tag there. Uh, so we're just going to pull in one field in this model just to keep it simple and quick. Uh, so we'll create a class called company. And we'll have one property, so we'll have a final string and that will be name. And we will create a, const a standard constructor. And we'll use uh, a named property of this dot name. And then we will create a uh, custom constructor, which will take our JSON and convert it to a, a Dart object. So we'll do from JSON, we will create a map, or accept the map. And the input output are going to be both be, or the, excuse me, the key and the values are both going to be dynamic in this case. Um, you'll want to do that whenever you have nested information, stick to dynamic, dynamic. And we will map the name to our parse JSON. And this is the, if you recall from the last time we modeled, is the uh, name of the property. And that's it for our company model. So again, we have more, more fields if we wanted to put them in here, but we're just concerned with the name. All right. So when we go back to our contact model, we can now add a new property, which will be a company. And we're going to want to import that, so I'll just use the auto import to bring it in up here. And we'll call it lowercase company, and we want to put that in our constructors. So this dot company. And then down here, I'm going to put a comma there. We'll add a new field, company. And it's going to be equal to company dot from JSON. So we're going to call that custom constructor. And we're going to pass that custom constructor the parse JSON for the company field. So it's going to get this information right here, this object. It is going to parse it. It is going to uh, use the custom constructor to convert that into a company object. Uh, and that becomes a field in our contact 
uh, model. So that will allow us to call the company um, name right from the contact model. All right. So with that, we can now go to home. And so this is the widget that is presenting this screen right here. Let me make this a little bigger. And we don't need the debug so much. Okay, so we've got a list tile right here and this is presenting each one of these list tiles. We have a title. Let's go ahead and add a subtitle and we'll make that a text. And it is going to be snapshot.data index and so we do our dot and now we can see we have company and then we can do another dot and we can pull the properties in the company which is we only have one dot name and if we save that we'll see on our screen that we are pulling in the company from the the API modeling it and displaying it on the screen so uh, this is kind of tricky it took me a little while to figure out exactly how you how you model all this and it's really not that difficult once you figure out that each object in the json is uh, is really treated as its own model and its own dart object and so that's uh that's it for the data portion of this so let's just do a little styling just so this doesn't uh, isn't left looking just like this so i'm gonna go ahead and add an app bar here so up in the scaffold, we'll add an app bar, and I'm going to add a title, and it's just going to be a text widget of contacts. Uh, well, if we save that, give it a nice blue bar at the top. All right. And then on our list tile, real quick here, just to give it some, uh, some leading element to it, so it's not just a, a list of words. I'm going to do a leading property and I'm going to use a widget called circular avatar. No, circle avatar. And that will give us a nice little blue circle. Great. And inside of that I can add a child and that child is going to be an icon icons.person. And that gives us a nice little contacty look and let's just style the text a little bit just to make the title uh, and the company just stand out a little bit more in contrast uh, to each other so I'll do a style property here on the title and that will be a text style we will do font size of font size of 20.0 font weight Font weight. Uh, let's do W900. Oh, uh, that's obnoxious. Let's do, let's try 800. There we go. That seems less screamy. And on the subtitle, we'll do another, uh, another style property. Another text style. And let's do down here, let's do font style and let's just make this italic. So we want to do font style dot italic. There we go. All right, that looks somewhat decent. We'll go ahead and leave the uh, the details as they are. We'll wrap up this series. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Don't make me beg. And hopefully we'll see you in the next video.